Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It still feels really weird saying that because I've only had YouTube for a little while. Um, but today I'm going to be doing a Princess Polly haul with some Q&A answers. Um, you guys asked me some questions on a post on Instagram. So let's get started. perfectly I got it in a size 8 because I'm usually an 8 down the bottom I'm loving the long pants at the moment um, just because I feel like I'm wearing that awkward stage where we're coming into the warmer months but we're still in the colder months so I feel like this is a really good outfit that you can make sort of wintry or summery so I love white and gold so this is a Princess Polly necklace I'm loving the fact that these have pockets too, so good. And I've also matched them with some little heels. Okay, so let's get down to the questions. So first question, who is your celebrity crush? So I have two. Um, firstly, who wouldn't say this? David Beckham, oh my God. There is not one time that that man has not been sexy. Not one time, Even no matter how many haircuts he's had, and hair dyes or whatever he's done he is so sexy secondly my celebrity my other celebrity crush now this isn't like a sexy kind of crush this is like someone who I would really want to spend time with like I'd um, invite him to have dinner with me Tyler Henry so if you guys don't know him he's like a psychic medium oh, I love him and he's just got the best heart I actually wrote him like a fan little um, DM on Instagram. I can't even read my own messages. So I wrote to him, just thought I'd send a message to you and say, absolutely love watching you. Your energy is amazing. How, how spiritual guru of me to tell him a medium that his energy is amazing. He didn't reply, but I love him and he deserved to know. So those are my two celebrity crushes. I love them both in completely different ways. Next outfit, baby. So, this is my second outfit. I love it. So I'm loving this lace bodysuit. It is so beautiful. I cannot stress to you enough how much I needed this bodysuit. It's something that I think is like such a wardrobe essential. Like you can wear it with jeans. I feel like these pants really dress it up though. I think that's like, that, as I said earlier, you can like swap it around. This is even something you can wear with like a blazer. So you can make it from like a uh, summer to like a winter look. And bam, check that out. I love the contrast between the black and white too. I think it looks really classic and nice and classy. And again, with gold detailing and the taut little heel. So let's get on to the second question. <laughs> All right, I don't know what that was you guys. I I'm in a mood today, I'm in a mood. What was your bullying experience at school and how did you overcome it? So I did get bullied at school, mainly in uh, high school. Um, oh, basically from like year, like kindergarten to year 10, I was in like the loser group, which is fine, I, I love I love being in that. Look, my main bullying stage where I got bullied was basically kind of year 10, 11 stage, kind of I was starting to hang out with like popular girls and oh my God, were they nasty to each other and everyone and and I just, I didn't feel like I fit in because I didn't really want to talk behind people's backs. People come up to me and they've got a problem with someone. I always say, oh, well, have you spoken to them about it? Because I feel like that's not only the way you're going to get a solution, but a lot they leave me out quite often. Um, I opened up to one of them about how I wasn't completely happy with my body and my body was fine. I think I just had a few issues um, that, you know, I don't know, a lot of people do go through things that I wouldn't wish upon anyone. I told her some quite deep um, personal things about 
the details of my um, body issues and she then went and told the whole kind of gossipy group that I was an attention seeker and um, which really hurt when I was trying to share and trying to vent some of my most personal details with someone and um, I had to leave that group so I left to like the group that I'm still in today so I left to this group that was so amazing and so accepting and cared for me and they actually pointed out um, these body issues like they could tell that I had these issues with myself before I even expressed it verbally and they actually all really helped me one of my girlfriends like I remember made a slideshow for me and sent it to me um, and things like that so all I have to say is with bullying those people that bully you are really insecure about themselves those girls that used to bully me now want to know, know me now high school is not everything school is so minuscule in the scheme of things um, and you can always leave to another group there's always going to be someone that feels your energy and loves you and cares for you it's not you're not stuck but if you are ever having any problems with yourself make sure you confide in a professional also um, you know don't rely on other teenage girls to put to give you that kind of help you deserve love and respect um, keep doing you because your energies are going to attract people that love you I have got like a neutral kind of colored dress so I love this dress it is so beautiful what I'm gonna do is pair it with these little heels again so I love these heels so this is a cute little summery vibe dress I love it. I'm wearing it again with the little heels, but you can make it really like wintry too by wearing like um, high boots. So I was going to get some because this probably have the nicest high boots, but I still have a broken knee at the moment. Um, so I can only wear like shorter heels, so I thought I'd stay safe. Oh, this is a nice one. Um, what's the best thing about working with dogs? I think it speaks for itself. They're so different to humans. They are honest, um, unconditionally loving, accepting. Um, they don't care about material things or money or um, anything like that. So in year six, they ask like on your yearbook, um, I'll see if I can dig it up. They'll ask, they ask on your yearbook, what do you want to be when you're older? And my answer was um, animal welfare agent. What kid in year six says this? And it's still my dream job. I, I, like, I don't care if I come back smelling, stinking of dogs with hair all over me. It doesn't bother me. I just love them so much, so much, so much. That I just think dogs give so much and they expect nothing in return except love. So what I'm gonna do is do a little twist with this dress. So I'm gonna match it with a skirt also. So um, you can wear it plain like this. Or, or with this skirt. Ta-da! So, this is like a croc little mini skirt. I absolutely love the little slit detail in it too. So I have a photo in this on my Instagram already. This is so what I've done is I've just popped the skirt over the dress and tucked the dress up the tiniest bit. Um, and it really looks good. I absolutely, this is probably one of my favorite outfits from there. It's just a little bit more edgy. Um, it's something that I would wear with high boots. Again, I can't wear high boots because um, I have a broken knee at the moment. But it's something that I would definitely wear with like higher boots, um, more of like a wintry look. Again, chuck this blazer over the top. Yeah, I feel like this is a vibe. Is this not a vibe? I love it. I look like a sassy, sassy businesswoman. Okay. Ooh. Okay, so another question. 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 What did you... What was that? Millie. What did you learn from Love Island? Um, I learned so much. I felt like I came out a bigger person than what I went in. I learned to not judge people so quickly. Like I do basically have an inkling whether I'm gonna like someone or not within the first um, couple of dates. Um, but I've learned to give people a chance. Um, and I learned how to, how to, how to socialize with a lot of different people. Um, my friendship group is genuinely, genuinely, generally, 
um, loud, loudest people you can imagine. Like in our group, you have to literally yell to be heard. And even then you might, you might not. Like they're the funniest, loudest group of people. And we have like all these personal jokes. And when I went in the villa, I was like, oh my God, this is not my, like, this is not my group. And, and they weren't understanding my sense of humor, which is because my sense of humor can be quite harsh and, and quite, um, I don't want to say witty because that sounds like myself, but it is, it's quite like fast, it's quite quick and might come across a bit offensive, but it doesn't mean to be like my, it's just like taking the piss. Like that's my sense of humor. So yeah, I learned how to socialize with a bunch of different people that I wouldn't have really ever had the opportunity to socialize with. So that was quite good for me too, because I feel like I've been able to um, become more socially aware of um, different people's thoughts and feelings and yeah. So I feel like I've learned quite a bit from that show. Let's go to the next outfit. Okay, guys, this dress is stunning. It's probably one of my favorites. Look at it, it's just so like sexy. Look at the slit, it's so nice. Oh my God. I would wear this on a first date. Let me get those heels on. Got the heels on, little kind of block taut heels with this. Have some nice cocktails in it. I love it. So guys, this also has like adjustable straps, which I find so handy. Cause sometimes when these dresses are fixed, like we're all different heights, we all want different looks, we're all different booby shapes. So I think it's nice to kind of have that adjusted kind of, um, those adjustable straps and this adjusted like thing in the middle, this little bow, you can tie it up and adjust it. At the moment it's fitting perfectly for my shape, but it's quite nice to like have that kind of variety just to tweak things in the way that you, 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 you in the way that you'd want them to fit. What is the first thing you notice about someone when you meet them? Uh, I think the first thing I notice is their, it sounds really weird, but someone's energy. Um, have you ever sort of met someone and you're like, whoa, weird vibe, like bad vibe? Um, you know, I'm not judgmental, but I just have this instinct in me that's like, ooh, be careful. Um, I, what I really look for is uh, an energy that's light, funny, but really sweet and caring. Um, someone that you can tell has like, is, is trustworthy and you can trust that they're gonna be there for you. I think that's the biggest thing like energy that I'm drawn to, even, um, you know, friends, uh, potential partners, family, like all of those kind of things. That's, that's the energy that I try and pick up on, but I do automatically get someone's energy. Um, that's, that's what I feel anyway. Oh, let there be light. So guys, next up is this little number. I love it. It sort of cinches in up near the rib cage, um, and it's got these beautiful like puff sleeves. If you don't like puff sleeves, you honestly need to get onto it because they are. I don't know what I don't know what it is about them, but I feel like they just make every outfit look a lot more classy and classic. Um, I love how tight. Like it's not really tight. It's quite stretchy this material. Like, I love this little slit detailing too. I think the slit makes it, it just gives it that sort of little bit of sexiness and the puff sleeves give it that kind of cute vibe. It's a perfect little combo of like sexy and cute. I think it's definitely a winner. It's definitely something I would wear out on like a date or drinks with the girls or um, I think just like a casual bar kind of thing, which is something that is very common at the moment because we can't actually go clubbing. Oh, okay. This is a bit of a funny one. Um, how many guys have you been with your entire life? So, boyfriend-wise? Or, like, intimate? Um, so, I have had boyfriends. I've had four or five. I've had, oh, six. Six. I've had six boyfriends. Um, if you are asking about how many people I've been intimate with, I... I don't feel a need to tell a number, but I don't feel a need. I don't feel like it should matter anyway. I don't think a number matters anyway. And I know that question wasn't asked in a nasty way. I just think there is a big stigma around um, women and the amount of people they choose to be intimate with. As long as you're a consenting um, 
age and it's consensual I don't think uh, I don't think there's an issue with how many people you choose to experience that with and I think if women do decide to share their number um, or they don't I don't think there should be any judgment on it anyway so this outfit is such a bad ass outfit I feel like it's something that you wear to a party and you just everyone turns and looks I feel like it's so hot definitely a head turner I feel like with this blazer it's even nicer okay did you watch Love Island season 2 if so what are your thoughts Yes, I did. I feel like they were like a completely different crowd to our bunch of people. Um, you know, our bunch of people were all like, we were all just so intense. Like in our Love Island, there was such a split in the villa. And in Love Island season two, everyone seemed to get along pretty well. And I was like, oh, well, that's lovely. So yeah, I've actually met quite a few of those people out and about and they've all been so lovely. And I've spoken to a few on social media and yeah they're all they're all such beautiful people so I feel like this is an outfit that no one knew they needed this is the same black blazer I'm gonna put all the links in the, the description guys for all of these pieces so this is the same black blazer I've been using the whole time it's got that looser fit which I love because it's so comfy I've paired it with like a chunky belt from Princess Polly I'm still wearing that outfit underneath, but I've turned the skirt so the slit is here. So when I walk, you can't really see the skirt. And I've kept that lacy um, bodysuit underneath. So I feel like this is such a boss outfit. I've got the handbag too. Let's, let's finish up this look. Let's make this look happen. This is so nice. So I would even tie your hair up with this because it's such a statement kind of outfit. So guys, this is it with the slipped back hair. I think that really makes the look. It's very like sexy, Mission Impossible. Oh, I love it. I love this outfit. I'm actually living for it. This is probably my favorite winter kind of outfit. I would definitely wear it with high boots. You can wear it with like the sandal heels that I have, but I definitely think high boots for winter. I'm gonna do a close up now love and that belt detailing it's definitely a winner what was your funniest relationship slash dating slash boy story okay I have so many like my friends are literally like you need to write a book but I don't want to out any guys for like I don't know the dodgy things or whatever that they've kind of done not on my YouTube anyway I've called them out in person um, but one funny story I can think of is with one of my first ever boyfriends. Um, we were coming back from like a party one time and I honestly, we were cra like crazy people. We um, ripped out all of my mum's um, trees in her front garden, like little trees. They were like probably about my height, probably bigger than that. We ripped them out of the, of the garden and um, we brought them all into like the front room. We used to bring home stuff all the time. We were so like, I don't know, crazy. But, oh, we were bad. We uh, we ripped someone's letterbox out of their front garden. I don't know. I don't know. Whatever it was years ago, guys. So we put them all in the front room, and we woke up in the morning to my mum screaming like, "Get down here now!" And we were like, "Oh, oh, it's a bit rude. How dare? How dare she?" Um, no, we were like, uh oh, and we went down there, um, and there were ants everywhere. Like this, this letterbox had pulled up an ant's nest, and she was like, "You need to go and return that right now. You need to return that to the person. I know what house they live in because it's got the number on the letterbox." We literally that morning um, ran to their house with this letterbox, like chucked the letterbox on their front lawn, and like ran back, and we're like, "Yep, we did it. We done." So. Yeah, that was a pretty funny story. 
So guys, I hope you enjoyed my Princess Polly haul. I do have a code for you. It's Millie Fuller. That gets you 20% off site-wide at Princess Polly. Definitely go check them out, guys. I'll leave all the links to um, the outfits in my description. And happy shopping. Let me know in the comments anything you'd like to see and what you liked about this video. Bye.